Alright, welcome to the first part of my series of guides on Linux. I'm an Assault player that's been playing for a while now, and I've picked up a few things on one of my favorite Assaults, Linux, and I'd like to share them with all of you. This first video is going to focus on perks. Um, now, the first thing you need to remember when playing any Assault, not just Linux, is that you're going to be pushing. That means you're going to be chasing the monster. Now, while you're not going to catch the monster, because all monsters are going to be faster than you, you need to be able to catch your teammates because uh, they're going to be running away from the monster. Uh, your medics and your support and your trapper are going to be running away from the monster that's looking for uh, downs and strikes. And so you're going to need to be able to catch them because then you will be able to catch the monster that is chasing them uh, to put on damage on the monster and to pressure him to eventually uh, leave or even uh, die, which would be even better. Um, so, movement perks are probably the most important thing you're going to decide on. For that, you have movement speed and you have uh, jetpack. Uh, I prefer jetpack perks, uh, just my personal preference. And as far as jetpack perks go, um, I say fuck Rocket Man and fuck fuel efficiency. Um, and even afterburners don't seem super useful. I prefer uh, for the first one, and uh, this is basically up to you, whatever, you know suits you. Uh, you might want regeneration or something like that because he's not going to be hitting you all the time. Uh, but I go damage just because, you know, more damage, more dead monster. Uh, for silver, I go jetpack, and for gold, I go jetpack. I like jetpack recharge because um, I feel like it allows you to chase the monster more aggressively than you otherwise would be able to with uh, just running speed. Although you could make the argument that because Lennox is no longer slowed down by punching, and you do spend the majority of the time not boosting and actually just following the monster around the dome, that movement speed is actually the best choice for a movement perk. However, movement speed doesn't really help you cope with the monster using traversals to uh, escape you or chase down teammates. In scenarios such as those, you're going to want boosts in order to keep up with the monster and maintain your combo. And there's also dodging to consider. While you can backstep out of a leap smash that isn't aimed at you without wasting any jets, eventually the monster is going to target you to hit you and end your combo. As Assault, the greatest asset to your team you have is damage. And for that reason alone, you don't want your combo to drop by getting hit. Uh, but another thing to remember is that once the monster ends the combo and reduces the pressure that you're putting on them, they're going to go right back to getting that strike on one of your teammates. And so you want to waste as much of their time as you can. The longer they spend trying to hit you, the longer they're not hitting your teammate. The longer the medic has to heal, the support has to recharge a shield, and everyone gets to recharge their jetpack before the monster gets back on them. And recharge speed is going to enable you to get more boosts more frequently so you'll be able to keep up and dodge, giving, giving you longer combos and, and more pressure, ultimately. It's also important to remember that you're going to get a lot more damage out of a combo than some 5% damage increase or whatever. Uh, if you can't keep a combo going, that damage bonus isn't really going to matter. So remember, movement is priority, and then damage or poison or whatever you want to do. Although, on the subject of poison, I really don't think that any assault should go poison, because you should always be hitting the monster, not just like tagging him and then letting the monster get away. Now, on the subject of Kraken, I should mention that boosting doesn't help quite as much against Kraken. Uh, now, your ability to hover is going to help a lot more in regards to this particular monster. Um, so you may want to grab Rocket Man or Fuel Efficiency in order to give yourself a little more staying power in the air to land those punches. And while Auto Cannon is going to be your go-to on Kraken fights, Lennox's primary is her Plasma Lance for a reason. It does a lot of damage, and those extra punches do help, even if just to make the Kraken reposition. Another benefit of fuel efficiency is the increased ability to helicopter, which is something I plan to go into greater detail on in a later video. In the same respect, Jetpack Recharge allows you to chase much more efficiently. Uh, chasing is also another thing I'm going to get into on a uh, future video. But for now, all you need to know is that um, it helps. A lot. Now remember, movement perks are the infrastructure for your Lennox. Once you know exactly how much movement you need in order to put on consistent damage to the monster, then you can start putting on other perks like uh, damage increase or regeneration or whatever else you might want. Alright, that just about covers it for this video. Thanks for watching. 
Now get out there and fuck up some monsters, you bloodthirsty assaults. See you next time.